and it's spending skill points and whatever, I found a bug in my personal version uh, where if I did that here, it would crash again. I had reported it though, so don't sweat that. I'm sure they'll fix that as well. Uh, basket case 57. Is this mostly single player or do you, are there any moments when you meet up with, uh, or you team up or? Uh... Oh, no, no, dude, it's an MMO. There's, I mean, as soon as we get out of here, you're gonna see other people who are in the beta running around existing. If you want to, you can run out there and try to find us and meet us and see if you wanna play with us. Uh, there's, there's, I mean, the, when you're first, oh, I'm stuck, hold on, I forgot how to break Actually, our one. Our one yeah. uh, you'll find when I, we get out, you'll run into other people, it'll be great, everybody will be having fun and stuff, but, uh, like, there's alerts that are meant more for once you've kind of polished off leveling up, right? You figure the, uh, level cap right now is 30, uh, right. it is a, sh a smaller level cap, and, uh, they made an a decided decision that they wanted to do that so that people could actually beat it so that they would feel like okay you know i can actually beat this game i don't have to invest forever in it and plus you want to go back and play as a superhero inspired by wonder woman a superhero inspired by batman then jump to being a villain and do this do that yeah so I, they've thought through what they want to do with it and then that's why the alerts are kind of super high level so once you feel like you know what you're doing and you're awesome that's when you actually go out and try to stop doomsday in smallville or try to go after area 51 and you know brain it and then there's P, P versus P and P versus V and all sorts of things. And not to mention the scenarios, you have to team up with certain Totally, yeah, 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 yeah. Cameos and help you out. The really cool, I'm hoping we can get to one here, uh, well, I, but I doubt it. What, anyways, there's uh, boss battles and stuff where you... Well, there's, there's a cameo at the end of this, this area. True, you true, but I mean, like, there's boss battles where uh, you'll go out and you'll fight a superhero or a supervillain depending on your path, and then afterwards you get a cutscene like, anime, like you know, drawn art, like, it's not by Jim Lee, but it's inspired by a style like the whole game is. Yeah. And it, you know, tells you about the backstory of that character if you didn't know, and really neat stuff. Yes, there are real jumps in the game. He's actually the pressing the jump button. Like, uh, Jimbo in 1979. Yes, you can tell right now, Greg was actually floating around and attacking enemies. Yeah. You can, you can fight in, in midair. Cool, and it's cool, like, even though, you know, I gave her a bow staff, everybody has a ranged attack, so when a Brainiac subjugator is getting me, I can hit up, you know, Y on this controller, triangle on your PS3, and throw something out there to hit him. Even when I was an acrobat with just, like, super strength, like Superman, what it, you do is you pound on the ground, a piece of asphalt kicks up, and you get to chunk it at him. Rails. Is this subscription based? That's yep, a good question. Yeah, it is subscription based. Yeah, it's fifteen dollars even if you buy it on the console. I know a lot of people have a problem with that, uh, but it, for me, it's what I'd expect from an MMO, right? Like, actually, I, have they have they announced that at full price on retail or? No, they have not. Well, I mean, well, yeah, they have. You can pre-order. It's sixty bucks on PS3. It's a normal PS3 game. They're not breaking that. Or. Let's see what else. Here's, here's another one from Archie again. He wants to know, uh, Greg has mentioned he isn't a big fan of online games. Is this game changing your mind? Yeah, totally. Uh, but I, again, I see it still more as a single player experience, right? Like I'm making my hero and I'm going through that progression or that you know, my villain. And I'm going to run into other people and I'm definitely, when I get to that point, going to want to level and play with other people and try it out and whatever. But that'll come down to playing with Beyond fans, IGN kids that are really invested in it and cool. But now, Walter, what do you think? I mean, are you, do you think it's going to be a turn? I think this is an MMO, right? Especially right. coming to a PS3 that has the possibility to reach out to people who normally don't play this game. I don't usually play MMOs, but I love comics. I want to be a part of that universe. Do you think that, you know, the 15 bucks is going to be a big turn? Is that going to keep people away? I don't think it is. You, you, you got to keep in mind it's an MMO, so you, you, you figure they're going to just add content over and over again. Yeah. And jokes aside, you know, PlayStation likes to do, you can download DLC all the time. Yeah. The firmware updates and just, so features can be a, could be added any time in the lifetime of it. Well, yeah, and I, I doubt you know the game won't be the games will have its own thing. It won't be a firmware update through the yeah. system. But I don't know. And, you know, like I don't, it's really cool. Like I've covered this game for since I started at IGN. That's been four years now. And you know, I, it's one of those games where I really didn't think it would probably come out. You know, it seems like one of those games that have a really cool concept would get screwed up here or there and yada yada yada. And you go down and now that you can play it, and I definitely have fun with it. And when I go and I can talk to the people behind it, the level of passion that, you know, SOE Austin has for it yeah. is really, really impressive. Like they, like they have probably the best comic library I've ever seen. Like I was like floored, dude. Yeah. Like it's just, you walk in this one giant room that's wall to wall on the side, these glass bookcases that are just filled with graphic novels. And then in the center they have uh, these big old filing cabinets filled with single issues. And it's just like they totally know what they're talking about. You hear them talk like 
when you talk to them about defending, you know, why they're doing subscription based, what is it, blah, 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 like, there's stuff they want to do down the line, the stuff they want to tie into the comics, like, it's rad. Like, I got to, I've gotten the, you know, opportunity to host panels and stuff with them. And they talk about how, like, people get up and like, well, I want to be a Green Lantern, or why can't I be a Green Lantern in the game? That's stupid, blah, blah. And they're like, you know, it would unbalance things. It would already give you a starting handhold, but, you know. But there's, there's, there's a similar way to actually be able to work with a Green Lantern once you get to the Watchtower. Totally. And the thing that really made me go, wow, this could be awesome, is that they talked about, it was right when Blackest Night was happening, right? This is that they were having this panel, and they said, you know, with something like that in the future, if that happens again while we're doing our thing, Let's spin these soldiers off together until Oracle can lock And there's the first cameo. Yeah. It, he's saying, you know, if something, if we can, when the game's up and running and cool crap like this happens, giant events, that's when you'd see maybe for a month that everybody can be a Green Lantern. You know, maybe there's a threat like Black as Night that's so severe that they have to give everybody rings for a month and try to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's awesome. If you're gonna tie stuff in that way, and Absolutely. I don't know, man. I'm I'm really excited. This it's sad that they delayed it. Like it's my it was my most anticipated game of 2010. Like I was I'm still taking Thursday and Friday off of work once I get a copy of this and just playing for four days straight. But you know I want them to make the best game they can. You know what I mean? Especially as a DC fan who I feel we get the short end of the stick on everything. Absolutely. Our movies suck. As when, guy, when they come out. Like personally, I play a lot of MMOs and just jumping into this. At first, you think, oh wow, it's kind of really simple. Yeah. But then you realize that they're not aiming to be like all the other MMOs. So right. It makes sense. And uh, Panda Koopa one two three, he said, I feel a bit better after donating and helping Nicole reach her goal. Oh good. Good job. Yeah. We, should, else we haven't even talked about that. Don't <laughs> forget we're doing this for the Children's Miracle Network as part of IGN's Extra Life. Uh, we will be going. 24 hours till 8 a.m. Sunday morning. There's another showing of this. I forget when. Do you remember what? It's on my sheet here. When, when we'll be doing the villain playthrough. Uh, but if, while you're doing that, you can go to IGN.com right now. The top story is the Extra Life story. Once you're there, you should be watching the stream there. That's where you can comment and we'll talk, answer your yeah. questions. Next one should be 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is the next time we do it. Let's yeah. talk to Superman. Okay, we have Looks a good like question here. They want to know... Great work today. We'll take it from here. It's done. Get to one of the teleporters. I've reprogrammed them. You can escape now. Go! You get chill go. So one of the <laughs> questions is, <laughs> um, are mentor choices restricted? Do they... Yeah, like you... For example, if Batman's your mentor, would you get to meet other people? Or are you just restricted to just Batman and you get to meet other people? You're going to run into him, but he'll be the main 